Now, see this example. In this example, you have to calculate average velocity, magnitude of instantaneous velocity as well as displacement. See here, position of a body is given by x is equal to 80 square plus b, where value of e is given to you, b is equal to 2.8 meter. Then determine the displacement from t1 equal to 3 seconds to t2 equal to 5 seconds. Average velocity during this interval, it means t of 3 to 5 seconds interval, what is that the average velocity? Then magnitude of instantaneous velocity at t is equal to 5 seconds. So, very simple take 1 by 1. So, if you are taking first one, you have to calculate displacement this time interval. So, you calculate displacement at 3 seconds and displacement at 5 seconds. So, you can calculate x 1 is equal to that you can write at t 1. So, x 1 is equal to a that is 2.1 into 3 square plus 2 that is equal to 21.7 meters. So, you have calculated x 1. Similarly, you can calculate t 2 at t 2 x 2 is equal to 2.1 into 5 square plus that is your 2 is equal to 55.3 meter you can calculate this and this. So, now if you want to calculate displacement delta x is equal to x 2 minus x 1 is equal to 55.3 minus 21.7 meter is equal to 33.6 meter this is the displacement. Now, you can calculate if you have got displacement what you can calculate average velocity. So, this was the first part if you take second part average velocity is equal to delta x upon delta t this already you have calculated 33.6 divided by 5 minus 3 is equal to you will be getting 16 point 8 meter per second. This is your average velocity. Now, you can calculate instantaneous velocity. So, for instantaneous velocity, you have to differentiate it. So, now I am just removing this part and for instantaneous velocity, we can write v is equal to that is third part of the question v is equal to dx upon dt that was d upon dt is equal to a t square plus b. So, you will be getting b is equal to if you differentiate with the time you will be getting 2 a into t. So, v is equal to 2 into 2.1 into 5 that will be here 21 meter per second. So, this is instantaneous speed or instantaneous velocity. So, using differential calculus you can use here you can calculate instantaneous velocity. So, now this is about average speed, average velocity and instantaneous velocity.